uploading Pro Tools takes a, a little bit of time. Um, basically consider that this is one big program that has a lot of mini programs in it, AKA your plugins. At first, it always defaults to opening this dashboard, uh, opening a session, kind of like when you open Microsoft Word. You can create, you can go to recent, or you can go to projects. Projects is like making sessions on the cloud. We're gonna create a new session. These are my automatic settings. Um, I'm going to change this to 24 bit. I don't really need a 32 bit float session. That's just an extremely large file wave or AIFF. AIFF does maintain metadata. If you are going to put text into your actual audio file, you could make an AIF. Wave is also just like industry standard high quality file. I'm going to name this creating from a template is what I want you to get to. And my template, I have named template 2022 M1. You can change the organization of templates if you're gonna have multiple templates. I really only just have one and it's under songwriter. But um, Pro Tools does have like these built-in templates. I honestly don't really use them. I'd love to teach you so you really understand how these are set up and you can make your own. Um, sample rate of 48K is standard 24 bit. This will assure that your sound will be great quality when played over movie theater speakers. I keep my IO settings to last used, and then I like it to prompt me for the location. I don't like to have it choose chosen here. If you also don't see the project you want in your recents, you can open it from disk and then locate it that way. For now, since we don't have a template, I'm gonna make a blank session. So I'm gonna not select create from template and it's gonna open a very blank setup. Now, you can put a session in your documents folder if you want, but that is going to be directly on your computer and it will slow everything down. So locations, I like to put it on an external hard drive. I'm gonna put it on my Chiron T5. Chiron Records is my label. Um, and I'm gonna put it in my Pro Tools 2022 folder. I'm gonna put it in my course one week one. This is me being nice and organized and I will hit save. Okay, so this is a very blank session. This is what you will see. Maybe this will be closed. Real quick, I am going to just make a track so that I can show you one more thing, which is how important gain level is. I'm gonna make my track mono because it's one mono source of sound. I only have one microphone, so that's a mono setting. You want your track to be an audio track, and then you're gonna want it in samples. Ticks refers to MIDI. You can also add and create multiple tracks all at once. This is going to be test one. Vocal. Hit create. So what I want you to know is gain level has to do with this. So this is an example of a good level. Maybe a little bit higher is okay, but once it starts to get closer to the yellow, that is not good anymore and it can distort. That is way too loud. This is getting quite hot. Hot means too much and that means it can distort and you wouldn't be able to fix the audio quality with mixing. See, this is where it turns yellow. You want it below the yellow. You can work with vocals that are too quiet, but you cannot fix vocals that are too loud.